Hey, what is up guys? Tommy Lin here, and we are back today with Sidem. Hope I got that right now. Thanks for laying it out for me in the comments. Uh, we're going to be doing Exhale on his project. Uh, what was his project called? What hides, what hides underneath the surface. So that's what we're going to be doing today. And so uh, if you guys uh, haven't seen me do the last one on his project, I'll put it in the car right here or whatever side it's on. Uh, and you guys can go check out that one too. Uh, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, that almost sounds like it's not coming from my headphones. I thought it was coming from the speakers for a second. Uh huh. Yeah, growing up, man, school sucks. So Hated much. feeling stupid all because I couldn't define what the word was. A calculating math problem that I've only heard once. A little. All right. To start off, you know, talking about school. School sucked for most people. Uh, hated feeling stupid because he couldn't define what a word was. So, I mean, stereotypical school, man. Just because you can't do something, people consider you dumb. You might ask a question, uh, and uh, people say, you call this dumb question, you must be stupid. It's like, no, you're just trying to get some help, man. Uh, I, I've heard of this one story where uh, this girl would always ask questions frequently. And everyone just thought she was stupid because she was asking the question every single time. But the reason she was doing it is because her friend was too shy to ask. And this girl was the smartest one in the class and she was just trying to help a friend out. But anyway, uh, also we, I want to talk about his uh, rhyme scheme here. Uh, where he starts off where he's like, man, school sucked. Uh, to find what a word was uh, that I've only heard once. Man's got a two-syllable rhyme scheme at the end. I like it. So to make contributions, changing how this world runs. Yeah, of course I wasn't dumb, but the way many treated me always felt I wasn't good enough. That's the biggest thing, man. You gotta just realize you are good enough, even though others might perceive you otherwise. The two friends that I had trying to keep my hopes high. Funny, most of them were dope enough. No, we not on smoke stuff. Told them don't offer they abide. Then the one who I was closest to in middle school had thought he might be by. Told them that I've had him too, even though it was a lie. All right, that's kind of the same concept I might have just talked about a second ago. I mean, it's a different situation, but uh, told him uh, told him I had the same. Uh, told him that I've had them too, even though it was a lie, just so he could have some peace of mind. That's a nice thing to do, man. I just so he could have some peace of mind, saying at the time it wasn't so accepted. Closest thing to a brother ever since he died, still feel his presence. Oh, that sense of past and lets him still get dreams. He survived the day he wrecked it. Wake up sometimes with tears and eyes. He was a blessing, man. A blessing. Yeah, if there's a will, there's a way. There is. He was living proof that anybody on this earth could change. I believe every single life is worth the same. Uh, this reminds me of that one Linkin Park song. When one of the artists died, and they wrote a song, and they uh, the line was something like, uh, "Who cares if you know if a star of light goes out in the sky, like a, a, a sky of a million stars? Who cares?" And he's like, "Well, I do." And right here, it's the same thing. It's just like I believe every single life is worth the same. You know, you don't want any of the stars to go out if you can help it. Not want to judge you to instantly just burst in flames With hides underneath the surface is pretty certain here It makes us stronger to persevere through the worst of fears so Everything bottled up is emerging Anyone listening is the first to hear Feel like I got a purpose here Seventh grade math teacher thought I was worthless Said I was a waste of breath all because she had planes to quit the gear Seventh grade math teacher thought I was worthless Said I was a waste of breath All because she had plans to quit that year uh, this reminds me of a post on Instagram. This coot, uh, this kid stood up with like a long hair, kind of like, you know, look like some kind of skater dude. But anyway, the kid, the kid's like, hey man, you're teaching the future of this nation. You gotta get these kids motivated instead of handing them a freaking packet. And uh, and the teacher's like, oh, you're wasting my time. But the kid was the kid was right. And here, uh, he's on the same page here with that. Or a teacher uh, might not just care about the job. She's going to quit later that year, so what she had to lose, right? Damn, that's tough. 
yeah. What makes it really weird to see was the mother of a girl that I had a crush oh. on. So any chance it disappeared. Still. Remember this That's one tough. chick who kept on loving me? Was on my type, guess she didn't get the memo when I told her leave. So one day I told her leave. Snap, we're all thoughts right to her face till she started crying uncontrollably. And to this day I still feel bad for her. Even she though. was in the wrong, but I still feel sad for her. Maybe my standards were set too high. If I seen her with different eyes, she wouldn't have tried so hard and I could have found a liking for her. Nowadays, personality is what I'm liking more of. Compared to when all I cared about is if the girl is looking great. That, that's actually a good thing to have. Nowadays, personality is what I'm looking more for. Uh, more of, he says. But, uh... Because, you know, when you, when you look for someone, obviously looks is always a thing. No matter who you are or whatever you say, you're always looking at looks. But... There's, uh, but some people, it's just all looks, but for, for most people, hopefully they are looking at looks, but they're looking at personality too, because you don't want to be with someone who looks good, but they don't have personality and they're not loyal. You want someone just who you can match with on a personal level and relate to. And have adventures with, man. That's honestly the best thing you could have, no matter how how much they look, how or how how they look, no matter how they look. That's what I meant to say. Because honestly, man, as soon as you can love someone for who they are, at that point, it doesn't matter how much they, uh, whatever they look like. Anyway. To an extent, my standards have changed. My manners improved as the attitude tamed. Now I'm taking any avenue to get back into the roots where I came. I'm then back. exhale through this meditation as I let out the pain for real. All right. All right, so I like this one. This one was all, uh, it wasn't exactly, I mean, it kind of was. It kind of was like storytelling. We still got 10 seconds left. Can you just right now? I think the butt beach is riding off. All right, I like that one. We're definitely checking out more from this uh, project because I really like this one. All right, well, that was Exhale by Sidem. Now, if I missed anything, uh, put it down in the comments. Some of you guys, you'll notice that I did not. Uh, so we can see everyone's perspective because the more perspectives you know, the more you can relate and understand. Uh, but anyway, uh, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you like the music in this video, I'll have a link in the description uh, to the, his video here. So you guys can go check it out, check out his channel, see what music he's got. Uh, if you like me reacting to this video, go ahead and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.